hello python programmers so you have already seen the output that we are going to create in this video so there is no point in further explanation let's jump to the project straight away now the first part is installing the required library so first of all we have to install the first package which is opencv so pip install opencv uh, python pip install opencv python now for me this is already installed second is pip install media pipe okay now this is a much bigger package and it will take some time for you for me this is already installed but for you it may take some time because as you can see we have some bigger packages like pillow kiwi solver and uh, many of such heavy weight packages okay now let me close this and let's get to our editor so that we can start writing a code okay so now we are into our editor so the first task is to import the required packages first is opencv and second is media pipe okay so first is your opencv or cb2 and the second is media pipe with the short notation of mp so wherever we are using this mp variable we are referring to media pipe okay now let me create some class variables which we are gonna use in this project so let me do that real quick okay so i have created the variables now the best practice is to save and run them once so that we can check that all the names are correct as usual it should be solutions the spellings are my weakness okay so let me explain you that what we are doing here so first of all we have called the media pipe dot solution dot drawing utils these are the drawing utilities which will be used to draw the dots and the lines through those dots i'll put the image on the right hand of your screen so that you can visualize the dots and the lines okay so this is the base class then from this base class we'll call some drawing styles okay so this is the base class for the drawing with media pipe and this is the styles from that base class okay then we have this holistic class okay this is the class which will do all the heavy lifting it will give us all the coordinates on which we want to draw the points or through which we want to draw the lines okay this class will do all the heavy lifting then the next task is to get the input from the webcam now we have multiple methods to take the input from you can take the input from your mobile camera you can take input from any wi-fi camera i have created videos for all of them if you want you can check them out the link will be provided in the description okay for simplicity we are taking the input from the webcam so we'll be using the video capture method from opencv make sure that this v and this c is capital okay okay so we are not actually taking the input from the webcam sorry for that we won't be taking input from the webcam what we'll be doing is we'll be uh, taking this video okay this is the dance video now they won't play that because i don't want any strike on my channel okay so this is the dance video and this is the simple black background on which this stick figure will dance okay so uh the video name is video and the background name is background for simplicity so video dot mp4 this is our input image and the background is let me copy paste okay cool now the next task is to specify that what will be the holistic levels like what will be the sensitivity of the feature detection if the sensitivity will be high we may get some false features and if the sensitivity is low some feature may be missed okay so 0.5 is the sweet spot okay so with uh, mp holistic this variable here this class variable here dot holistic this is the method inside that uh, class we have uh, two functionalities first one is min detection 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 uh, confidence now this variable is self explanatory and the uh, 
नेक्स्ट पैरामीटर है इज मिन ट्रैकिंग कॉन्फिडेंस ओके सो दी सेंसिटिविटी ऑफ द ट्रैकिंग एंड वी लोड दिस डेटा इन टू दिस होलिस्टिक वेरिएबल एज होलिस्टिक now i hope i am not making any spelling mistake here i hope not then uh, the next task is to create a infinite loop cap this variable name while cap is open so this loop will run for the time our uh, video is running it is opened underscore comma image is equal to cap dot read cap dot uh, read now this uh, read method of uh, Open CV returns two value. First is the success message. We don't want that. Second is the image from this video. Okay, so we are interesting in that. Uh, sorry, we are interested in that. Then uh, let's create the second variable for the background. So it's a background. Background dot read, and uh, let's assign this background image. Background image. Okay, cool. Now the next task is to convert the BGR image, blue, green, red image into RGB. And the reason behind this is MetaPipe works on the RGB format of uh, videos or photos because we are getting the stills here. Okay. So this is the command. We are using the CVT color class of our OpenCV package then these are the parameters inside first is the image that you want to convert from BGR to RGB this is our image uh, variable this one yeah then we have this method CV2 color underscore BGR blue green red to RGB okay then we'll uh, apply the holistic filter or the holistic method or the holistic module whatever you want to call it we'll apply that and uh, store into this results variable so uh, holistic i guess we are using the variable here so the smaller h1 uh, process and we have to process the image okay now after the image is processed to display the output to the user we want it to be converted back to bgr okay so image is equal to it should be just the opposite rgb to bgr rgb to bgr now we'll find the coordinates in two steps first we have to find the face coordinates and then the whole body one okay so let me write the code real quick and then i'll explain you okay so we are done with the phase drawing so let me explain you all the parameters so we are calling mp drawing this uh, variable class hai eh? mp drawing dot draw landmarks then these are the parameters inside we want to draw this on the background image then result dot face landmark okay so first of all we are drawing the face landmark so from this result this result will have both the face and the body coordinates we want only the face coordinates first now face has like 52 coordinates i guess i don't remember exactly but i guess it was 52 now we don't want all those 52 we just want four or five just to make it look like a face okay so uh we'll write landmark drawing specs is equal to none if you want all the 52 or i don't remember how many face points are there if you want all of them just remove this let me do one thing let me remove it first then uh, we'll see how the output look and uh, after that i'll add this part of the code okay then we are lastly saying to our mp drawing styles to draw the face mesh contours okay so here we are drawing all the faces coordinates okay then we'll do the same for our uh, body coordinates also uh this will remain the same this will be pose landmark okay instead of face landmark it will be pose landmarks then we have to add a new parameter here mp underscore holistic pose connection okay it should be all caps pose 
connection now make sure you are writing the spellings correct and uh, as you know python is case sensitive uh, sorry case sensitive so i am writing all caps then write all caps and just make sure you are writing the right spelling okay so face connections uh, sorry pose connection so it will be used to connect those poses okay and the same will do uh, actually it will be get default pose landmarks it wouldn't be face mesh contours it will be pose landmark now this will be in small uh, pose landmarks uh, marks style okay now as we have edited our video let's display this video to our user so cv2.im show and a cv2.flip okay now the output that you will get will be flipped not upside down but right to left okay so we have to unflip it this is why we are using this uh, flip functionality from our open cv one then let's add the exit condition then we'll do cap dot release or video dot release okay release now let me finger cross and run this program because uh, my programs won't usually run on the first run let's see definitely definitely uh video capture okay so video capture is not a method okay so it's cv2 dot video cop video capture what a mistake what a terrible mistake it was let's run this once again it was okay so we are getting a error somewhere here okay so connection drawing specs connection drawing specs this parameter is not in uh, the body landmark it should be landmark drawing specs landmark drawing spec i guess that uh, this was the error uh, it should be cv2 cv2 has no attribute as a weight key okay so this is definitely a spelling mistake it should be uh, capital k okay it should be capital k okay so that was pretty slow now the reason behind the speed of uh, the video was my processor speed now my laptop is more than a year old i mean it's really slow also i'm running a screen recorder i have multiple monitors i have audio recorder so all this pressure is going to the processor this is why the speed of the video was very low if you have a good processor you will get a nicer speed or a smoother speed okay and you must have also noticed that the face of uh, the character was filled with red dots now the reason there was it was having 52 face coordinates or more than 52 or less than 52 whatever that number is so if you just put this uh, value here landmark drawing specs is equal to uh, to none now let's run this you won't get so many face coordinates here. Look. Okay, so I felt irritated because it was very slow. My laptop is heating up. So, yeah, this was it. This was a short video in which I have shown you how to create the stick figure version of the popular Shivali dance from Pushpa movie. Now, the reason why I created this video was I uploaded this uh, short reel on my Instagram and everyone was asking that how you created that. So, I thought why not create a video on this. So, if you thought this was interesting then do comment down below that what project next you want to see and uh, who knows i'll create that project next okay so this is it and i'll see you in my next lecture bye bye